Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another silver prediction video. In this one we are checking out the best potential FIFA 22 silvers from the Bundesliga. Yes then guys, I am having so much fun making these silver prediction videos at the moment. If you are enjoying these, please make sure to go down there and drop me a like on this video. If we can hit 10 likes, that will be epic. But the Bundesliga lads are here and last time around at FIFA 21, they had probably the most meta starter silver squad you could get your hands on. The likes of Eilers Bebu, you had Saint Just, you had Sal in the middle of the Park. There were some unreal silver cards, but let's see what they're going to be working with this time around. We're starting things off with a centre back from Frankfurt. We have got a Brasilva on our hands who goes by the name of Tuta. I'm not predicting this man to have fantastic stats, but the main thing I'm focusing on here is that Brazilian link, which means Brasilva opportunities. That is what I'm going to be going for when FIFA 22 comes out. I want to get the best Brasilva team straight away. Up um, next, we have got potentially one of the most baller left backs you're going to see in the silver game. We have got Omar Richards, the man played for Reading last year in the championship and he smashed it. He managed to blag himself a move to the German Giants by a Munich. What makes this card fantastic is the English links in the Bundesliga. You know me, I like a silver hybrid and the opportunity is endless with this man. The only fear I have for this card is he may sneak his way into the gold bracket. He got a move to Bayern Munich. All right, EA may look at that and think this guy is an absolute baller and give him that low kind of 77 to 78 gold rare. If that is the case, then he is going to make a six starter squad player for your main team, especially with the English links and the Bundesliga links. We are continuing the Richards name we have got a boy who is actually a Bayern Munich player on loan at Hoffenheim this man had a 66 overall base card on FIFA 21 a Bayern Munich card and he had pace to boot he had 75 pace and very consistent defending of physical stats I'm predicting that little upgrade he's gone out to Hoffenheim he's getting a bit of game time if we get a centre back with 78 pace and defending stats like this he could be the Saint just the FIFA 22. Now this geezer I have actually featured already on my first silver prediction video. We have got Gio Reyna. I'm not going to waste too much time guys. If you want to check out my other silver prediction videos, make sure to go back on my channel. Have a little look. I'll leave it as a little information tag in that top left hand corner. Another potential for silver baller. We got Paolo Artavio. The man had a sick 5 star skill Samba star card at FIFA 21. And I believe his base card was a 73. He's got all the right stats to fit the meta in the silver game mode. The pace is there. The dribbling is decent defensively. The physicality needs a bit of improvement. He needs to hit the gym a little bit behind the scenes. He's sat at his 74 as it stands on so FIFA. So fingers crossed he stays there and he doesn't quite push into that gold bracket. Because he will be the most sick meta for a silver left back in the game. Our first striker of the video. We have got a Nisiwo. This Austria baller playing for Mainz is an absolute unit. Six foot two of height and he has got a physical build. He looks pretty consistent going forward, all mid to high 70s across the card. I feel like he offers something a little bit different to maybe partner alongside some potential quicker strikers that you're going to see later in this video. Another chap I spoke about in a previous prediction video of mine, Florian Verts. I'm predicting to get that 73 slash 72 overall card this year around. Absolute baller on the come up, 18 years of age, repping it for Leverkusen. Definitely one to watch and one for you career mode freaks out there. Up next, we got a player I'd actually never heard about until I did some research for this video, guys. We have got the almighty Japanese wonder star, Akagawa. This man plays for a team called Arminia Bielefeld. I've never heard of them either, but they are in the Bundesliga and this man looks like he is definitely a star player for these. Just taking a look at the potential stats and this man's actual in-game stats on Sophie for as it stands. Four star, four star, which is fantastic. He's got the pace, the dribbling, the shooting. Perfect stats to be that super silky cam in your silver team. Up next, we are going back to Bayern Munich and we have got a wonder kid. He went by a different name in FIFA 21. I believe it was Kowasi. However, in FIFA 22 and on Sophie for, and on the Bayern Munich squad list, he now goes by Nyanzu. Only 18 years of age, so definitely want to keep an eye out on career mode, but the stats himself look fantastic. He's got the height, he's about six foot two. He's got the pace, the defending and the physical stats and decent dribbling. So he should not feel too clunky on the ball, which is fantastic. And you can maybe partner him with a more stocky, brute force centre back. Up next we have got a completely brand new player on FIFA Ultimate Team. This youngster I believe is 16 years of age. We've got Muakoko. Considering this man is only 16 is insane. He is already playing for Borussia Dortmund getting goals which is crazy. Definitely a superman to pick up in your career mode guys. But in regards to the ultimate team I can't see him getting any higher than a silver. Asinos is first card. He's only 16. There's definitely room for improvement. I'm giving him a 72. He's got the pace. He's got decent finishing for a youngster and decent dribbling stats. I reckon this man could definitely pick up a few informs throughout. Potentially a silver star. Fingers crossed by the way that EA continue the silver star objectives throughout. I'm pretty confident they will considering how much of a hit it was on FIFA 21. Either way, this is a man I'm definitely going to be picking up come FIFA 22. 
a potential hyperlink option to Makoko we have got now. These names are a little bit difficult for me to pronounce, guys. Apologies in advance if I butcher all of them. But this chap is also a youngster on the scene, repping it for Borussia Dortmund. Very similar to Murakoko. I reckon they're going to give him that kind of low 70 bracket silver card with the pace, with the dripping stats, but definitely room for potential. And next, we've got another player that I have already predicted on a previous video. We've got Ilax Mariba. The young Barca superstar made his move over to the Bundesliga and RB Leipzig in this transfer window. Four-star, four-star potential on this silver card. Hopefully, they don't give him a gold. Hopefully, he gets stats somewhat similar to this. Up next, we've got Jeremy Frimpong. He had an insane silver card last year playing in the SPFL for Celtic. Quite difficult to link in, being Dutch there weren't too many insane Dutch silver cards. You obviously had St. Just but then apart from that he's going to be on about 8 chemistry. But now, if St. Just keeps in the silver bracket by the way I'm pretty certain he won't, I'm pretty confident he's going to go up to a low rated gold card but if he doesn't this man of St. Just is going to be ridiculous. The pace is incredible on this man. He's got decent dribbling stats, decent defensive and physical stats also. The perfect silver right back. Another new chap into the Bundesliga, we have got Brian Brobby. The young ex-Ajax wonder kid made his move over to the Bundesliga. And just doing this video, by the way, and doing a bit of research about the Bundesliga and new signings, there is so much insane young talent there. This man just adds to the pool of incredible potential players. And I'm so excited to keep an eye on the Bundesliga this season and see some of these boys develop into potential world beaters. But Brian Brobby is an absolute unit. This man is 19 years of age and he has biceps bigger than my head. He's going to have really high strength in game and pace to follow that up so he's going to be that big bruiser up front people are going to be bouncing off him left right and center downgrade alert we have got the 74 overall boatius this dutchman had a 76 overall gold rare last year round and i'm pretty certain the downgrade is incoming he hasn't quite performed up to his full potential last season and on so fifa they've already downgraded him to a 74 which is fine with me because if he does go down to a 74 with stats like this we are going to be balling and to end off this video we have a four star four star baller on our hands we got a 71 overall yeon this man is going to be more on the cheaper side of things when it comes to making your silver starter squad and he offers the nice hybrid links up to the korean prospects around the world and i'm pretty confident there's going to be a lot of super sick korean silver cards this season anyway guys that is where we're going to end this one i hope you enjoyed as always do let me know down below which league you want to see next i've got a few more prediction videos coming out over the next couple of days to so keep an eye out for those ones but guys if you did enjoy please do consider dropping me a subscription i'm trying to hit 1.6k subs before the start of fifa 22 we're about three weeks away from the game coming out i believe the 22nd of september is when the web app and early access is here and i'm not too sure when the actual database comes out but either way i'm gonna have content crazy for the first few weeks of the game. Anyway guys, till next time, take it easy, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you soon.